Hi, I'm Aparna and I'll be talking about my experience of interning with Fidelity Investments. I got my internship at Fidelity through campus recruitments in the month of August last year. There was um there were three rounds and that's how we got recruited. Now a lot of students have been asking me uh, what exactly a technical profile in a finance company or a bank like fidelity or goldman sachs what exactly that contains so i guess uh, this video will be helpful for you now coming to the recruitment procedure the first round was a test in which there were two sections the first one was a general aptitude section and the second one contained two coding questions to uh, test your programming ability now once uh, you clear this round you go into the technical interview round Now this round in my opinion was easy because uh, my I was thorough with my CV and that is the most important point to ace this round uh, they'll ask you questions related to your projects that you've mentioned in the CV and uh, if you're if you're able to answer all those questions you're good to go and if you clear this round again you go to the HR round in which you basically show them what sort of person you are and they'll gauge whether you fit into the organization well or not now if you clear this round as well you're in and at least last year we got goodies right after we got recruited we got a fidelity backpack which i wanted to show but i forgot now coming to the work that i did at fidelity i can't really talk about it because of the non disclosure agreement but i can give you a basic idea of what i did at fidelity now as we came came in uh, on the second day we were allotted to our teams and this was a completely random allotment they don't really do it based on the previous work you've done or what uh, skills you have or anything now this is a way to um, gauge what uh, level of learnability you show in a completely new environment with a completely new team and uh, that is a great way to decide whether you fit in in a very fast paced environment like that so the work that you get can um, go from application development to um, data analytics or language processing or anything it, it they have a wide variety of things they're working on and uh, you will almost always end up with something interesting now uh, the team that i was with uh, created the internal applications that fidelity uses so that's extra uh, uh, that's an enhancement saying that um, i really cannot talk about anything that happens in there so uh, what happens is that uh, they create and maintain the architecture of all the applications within fidelity and this is really important because most of the things are on cloud and uh, like every company has these days and because we are evolving into that field they really need a lot of expertise uh, in that as well so um, yeah and then um, yeah i was given a project on application development initially uh, it was a web application and i learned a lot of new technologies through it uh, a lot of new frameworks and uh, i even learned how to program in java properly and um, yeah but i had a great manager and a great mentor as well who not only gave me projects that uh, tested how i adapted uh, to a new technology or whatever they actually uh, gave me projects that i was interested in uh, after i was done with whatever they given me initially so this way i got to work on a lot of data analytics and uh, even natural language processing at a point and i'm so thankful to them for that now coming to the culture at fidelity i found it amazing they really know how to treat their employees right we were given accommodation at a really good hotel for two weeks with food and laundry so we had a lot of fun in those two weeks even after that they helped us a lot to find accommodation right around the office and um, they were pretty affordable as well now fidelity has two offices in bangalore and one in chennai but even if you're not from bangalore or chennai you will probably not have any uh, issues finding accommodation 
Now, um, coming to how the workplace is, it's really chill. People are super relaxed, and, but they're doing their work also, obviously. But yeah, there's no um, extra stress on how fast you have to finish your work or any of that. It was a really relaxed environment and it's a great way to increase your productivity that way. Now, even if you're bored or getting sick of the work you're doing, there are lot of, lots of activities within the office only. Um, there's a foosball table, there's a table tennis uh, room. There are lots of games you can play actually and there are pantries on every floor so you can go and chill there. It was a great place to work at and the people are super friendly. You can go up to anybody and ask them any doubt you have and they'll help you irrespective of whether you're, uh, you're in their team or whatever. Now, uh, one of the uh, things that enhanced our experience at Fidelity were the seniors there, that is uh, two batches above mine. Uh, who joined Fidelity last year, they were super helpful about a lot of things. They would keep sessions for us to make us understand what exactly happens in Fidelity. They used to keep team building activities to make the office environment more fun for us. And uh, they also gave us so many tips on how we should do our uh, project reviews and presentations. Even with our intern summit that happened at the end of our internship, they were really helpful and they were a huge part of my experience at Fidelity. Now coming to the internship season and the advice I have for you guys. Uh, my primary advice is that uh, you keep your calm and uh, trust your skills and abilities and you should be good to go. You might get rejections from more than three companies sometimes before you find something that's right for you. But you have to be patient and you shouldn't lose heart. Trust yourself, there's something out there for you. All the best. Thank you. Bye.